decision as you can see in the video that we did get the land and we plan on making a lot of content a whole lot of content for real just you know but that's gonna that's gonna stay on youtube for sure but it's 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 a moment it's a moment to grasp you know we went and put our phones back and was just sitting out there for a while grinding ourselves feeling that energy, feeling at home, you know, we didn't get to put no work in because we ain't had no tools and that, but we well, go. yeah, we didn't really plan on putting work in on the first day that we, because we didn't even know if we were going to get it. Like I said, we, sure. we went and been looking at properties, um, yeah, so this was, right, right so. This one, this one felt different, you know, it was the third one we looked at, so, yeah, we, we kind of, well, it was more confident than anything. No, because when we walked through, it was like, oh, this is it. That's that's the feeling yeah, I got. The energy was just beautiful. Like, wow. The, the realtor walked us through the entire property from front, from the, you know, beginning around and to the other side. Yeah. And it was like, I was like, oh, yeah. Did, yeah. did you feel that? You I like, definitely yeah. did. It was like, wow, I can't. I'm just looking back at you, make sure you're feeling what I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. No oh, bull. So I'm very looking forward to creating that into a home. Like, it's already home, but just our imagination is is gonna start from just a whole just woods, and we're gonna turn it into something very beautiful. And we're gonna yeah. answer a couple of questions that people had on TikTok. Um, the reason why we decided that we weren't going to post a lot of content on TikTok was because we posted yesterday and we got a lot. I mean, we got a lot of love. Don't get us wrong. We had a lot of love. We appreciate y'all and we're forever grateful. It was a lot of negativity and um, we just we just would rather not. You know what I'm saying? We still so, going to post on TikTok and all that shit. It's just don't expect us to even we're not even gonna be looking at the comments for real so yeah. we might be we posting informational content to help y'all but we might not be as interactive just because us looking at those positive comments gonna cause us to even take in that negativity right because we were trying to respond to a lot of comments but when you do that you also are forced to see other yeah. people's opinions that and we could care less that yes we don't even need in our head type shit so regardless of how powerful you are those thoughts gonna Going like they're there, you're they're seeing there. it. It's in your subconscious at the end of the day, so to We're protect pro our subconscious, I protecting wanna, our energy, yeah, yeah, you know. And I feel like us posting on YouTube, people will come to our YouTube because they're yeah, they want to yeah, know. People, because it takes a lot of energy to come all the way to YouTube to our channel just to hate stuff, so. right? We hoping everybody here is just on the same journey, <clears> same <throat> purpose as us, and just looking forward to you know seeing what we do and then eventually y'all doing the same thing so we just hit to help from me so we had questions and they asked what do we plan on doing with land so first and foremost we plan on obviously living on that land living, that's the long term goal at the end of the day we're going to build plant food we're going to build on it the land is unrestricted so for the people who was asking what to look for yes. Look for unrestricted land that you can do whatever you want. You feel me? That was and another thing that somebody was thing. saying because they're like, oh well, do you even know what you can do yeah, on it? But the a lot thing of is, buy land and they don't know any better. But you feel me? Obviously, we're running that situation. We did a whole lot of research, a whole lot of just time put in to find exactly what we want and what we need. Honestly. We did not just jump into buying the first piece of land that we found on Zillow. No. Like, that's not what we did. <laughs> no. We did a lot of research, and before we even contacted anybody, we were doing research on where we wanted to go, what type of land we wanted, um, what restrictions are in the county, what restrictions are on the land. Yeah. And then we started looking, and we did see multiple properties before we decided with this one. So we are allowed to build on it. We are allowed to live on it. There is no restrictions. Yeah, the main thing that we were looking for were restriction-based. A lot of this off-grid living, um, people initially start off with like a camper, a tiny home, or something on that line. Mobile lines, you home, know? tiny home, yeah, campers, so a lot of these RVs. lands, a lot of these lands as they have for sale are like restricted to like residential, build your house, so this community looks good type land. So it was kind of a challenge to find exactly you feel me somewhere that's mobile home friendly, somewhere that actually is you feel me, they want us to 
well, we can do what we want, basically, you feel me? It's not nobody telling us what we can't or can't do or what we'll get fined for, or this and that. So that was one of the biggest steps. And once we found that, it's like, now it's just, you know, just doing it, just creating a vision and living out the dream, honestly. You know, it's going to be a process. And don't expect it to be an overnight process. That's not what we're expecting at don't. all. It's a it's a it's a lifetime just journey and dedication. You know, it's gonna be constant growth. But we plan on passing this land down to all generations to come. Who knows what we even have in the years to come? You know, this is only the beginning, only the beginning, like real life. So we just happy to take that step forward and to know what we want and to be firm on our beliefs and be firm on our dreams. So yeah, I'm gonna be happy that you guys had to experience this with us. Honestly, it's beautiful. Another person did ask, and it was people insinuating, well, that's not yours if you have to pay taxes every year to the government. That's something that we personally cannot, uh, anybody cannot get out of, okay? If you're going to uh, not pay property tax when... The property tax is not that much, though. The honestly. property tax is not that much. And you yearly. pay it yearly. So. so personally for us, our property tax is not that much. That's at something all. that's not going to be an issue. Um, so, um, we still have our names on it that is we're the owners yeah we're the owners that's we, all us. <laughs> <laughs> that's we're gonna pay our property tax every year um and then i'm pretty sure our kids are going to pay the property tax yeah. when we're gone so yeah. if the government is still running <laughs> right so it's like you know so, yeah, um, i think that was a lot of the questions people have was people what do we plan on of, like how much did it cost but it's different everywhere it, just it depends, depends on, on where different you want so land in florida is going to be really expensive compared to if you're going to get a plot in ohio yeah. it depends on the state that you're in um the restrictions yeah. the area the county because if you're going to get land in a residential county you got to think about hoa fees there's a lot of restrictions in yeah. certain states you guys so it depends on where you want to live and what county you're in yeah. We can't really tell you much more than you got to look up what you want. It's all based on what you want. But we is, can give them the websites. Yeah, we can give them the website. Definitely. I would say um, the two biggest um, websites you can look on is Land Search and Land Watch. And just find your filter it out to your liking. Filter it out to your budget or whatever you're looking for, you know. So, yeah, that's that's a lot of the questions. A lot yeah. more of the questions were... And I mean, how did we do it? Like we said, we did the research. We looked up where we wanted to go. We, we looked are, up. No different from you. Right. Yeah, no different from you. Honestly, we just had this plan for a while. For a while, you know. Ever since we we just even got together, we this is all like we knew what we wanted, and we wanted even you know for a while now. This is what we wanted. So it's like just, it's not for everyone. It's not for everyone. I don't expect everyone to do it. It's like. We figured out what we wanted and we became firm on that. We kept on taking a step a step forward at a time, you know. So a lot of research, a lot of trial and tribulations, a lot of patience. It just but once you're dedicated and you have purpose behind it, and it's gonna get done, you know. You just gotta be patient and wait for your turn, wait for your for me, whatever. It's just it's all divine, you know, so and this Honestly. is something we have been talking about before me and him even decided that we wanted to get this together. We yeah. both separately wanted this individually. Yeah. I've always talked about getting land and having a garden um, of my own in a food forest. That was yeah. like the biggest thing I've ever me, wanted. I wanted to be like self-sufficient. self-sufficient. I didn't want to have to work and slave for the system. So that's the same reasons right there, you know. But once we came together and put our energy together... And it was like two times the force of us shooting to our dreams. So that's the best thing. Um, I could recommend if you like here, if you're looking to do it and you have somebody around you that wants to do it as well, maybe a loved one, maybe your wife, maybe a husband, maybe a friend, you know, but really dedicate on it. Make a plan. Figure out people, you know, figure Don't out what, let... what you're looking for. Don't let other people's fears, yeah, get get to, yes. get to we... you for me. So it wasn't just to, a lot of people 
gave us a lot of backlash on the decision we made and we did decide that we did want to share it just because we do want to inspire inspire and motivate other people so don't think that you know everyone was like oh my god like you guys did it or no there was a lot of even family and friends that were like but that's fine because it's not for everyone to understand it's not and that's okay because this is what we want this is our life awesome definitely and we are really happy like i yeah. mean we couldn't have we don't feel any regret or anything at all like i've been Anyways, i can't to wait to just, i'm ready to work <laughs> I'm ready to go we are work. going yeah, out awesome. there in two weeks um so that we can um work on the driveway um we are going to start with the driveway first so we're yeah, gonna make the one. yeah we're, we're gonna, gonna try to do a lot of this just budget friendly so everybody knows it's possible like you don't need a whole lot of money to do this stuff like you don't need a whole lot of money to do this stuff so we want to just make it possible by any means it's like i have no doubt in my mind that we're going to get it done and this going you feel me we're going to share that with the world so hopefully we can motivate you to you know if this is your dream we can motivate you to just you know do the same just go forward take that first step take that leap of leap of faith you know and just know that if it happens, it's all happening for a reason. So, yeah. And this is just our path. We feel like it's time to be um, self-sufficient. It's time to be <laughs> in alignment with nature. And this is just in our alignment right now that mm. we need to get out of the system. And it's going to take time. And it has been taking time. Like we, you time. have a we spiritual awakening. Yeah. You want to do all these things. And it, you just have to realize it takes time. Because when we first, like, was waking up to ourselves being aware of what we wanted it it seemed like there were so many things in the way yeah but at the end of the day the only obstacle is you you know it's you versus you you feel me so once you dedicate to wanting it all all the things that's within you that's trying to stop you from doing it maybe fears limited belief systems other people's thoughts let it go and just take the step forward to what you're trying to do to your dreams and it, 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 you know, it and manifest. we did um ask people if they wanted to help us or be like a part of it and a lot of people did and that's fine that's fine and it ended yeah. up just being us yeah and yeah we're here we just happy we happy it worked out this way honestly yeah. and everything happens for a reason everything and it worked for out for us perfectly and it's a beautiful beautiful hmm. thing the I land is beautiful <laughs> the land is beautiful um I, we can't wait to bring you more content with the process of you know getting out there getting um land cleared out you know building our driveway building our forever home building yeah. our garden because this year we still are in the nature we're still yeah. in the system you know so and that's like, it's not all the way a bad thing you know because yeah. it's not like we have to go out there and and yeah, be survival it, yeah. I mean, <laughs> um, for sure. it gives us time to get it right you feel me but it's just like all of our energy can't go to it right now you know right it's because we have to we have to balance out where we are right now as well you know so just bear with this you know and we, it's it is a blessing it's a blessing it's, everything's you a know blessing. it's perfect we live in a in a time where technology is is here mm. um convenience is here as well a lot of things can be learned and it's it's great yeah. everything's gonna be great so thank y'all i can't wait to come to you with another video um so. i can't believe we did it for real. it's yeah. like i gotta say i can't believe i couldn't stop dreaming about it last it's night like, wow it's honestly, i was so happy the security the peace because this is the only thing that i had anxiousness or any thoughts about honestly for a long time just securing that land and knowing that every you feel me just the generations to come is just gonna be beautiful you know we plan on expanding right. of course but just and this is start, big it's it huge. is and, and no one can downplay that for us because yeah. something we did we at our age nothing. right and we have something to give our kids yeah. you know when they have something to inherit that is so beautiful yeah. and it's it's gonna be by the time they inherit it, it's going to be set up for them. Yeah. Trees, food, abundance, generational wealth, water, food, 
in land, all is going to be theirs. What else more could you want to give your kids? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but, but, yeah. It's not all about money. It's not. If you, if you don't have a million dollars to give your kids when you're gone, okay. You have land. You have resources. You have knowledge. Yeah. You have all of these things that you can give your kids to where they are set up for the best life possible. And then yeah. their kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we appreciate y'all for supporting us. And we look forward to bringing y'all more content. So peace and love, y'all. I love myself. Peace to all my people. Thank you.